Welcome to this video about just intonation. We will make a Pythagorean tuning by the use of the tones in tune add-in. If you don't get all the spreadsheet details illustrated at first, don't worry. Almost anyone can learn Excel at this level. It doesn't require any knowledge of programming. Pythagoras is given credit for the discovery that simple ratios give harmonic intervals and the Pythagorean tuning is generated by octaves with a ratio of 2 to 1 and by pure fifths with the ratio of 3 to 2. We name these cells pure fifth and octave. We select a reference pitch and we use tones in tunes key to pitch function to calculate the pitch. The seven steps of the diatonic Pythagorean tuning are built from the reference pitch by use of pure fifths and octaves. We go up from the first to the fifth step by multiplying with a pure fifth. From the fifth step to the second step, we multiply with a pure fifth and divide with an octave. From the second to the sixth step, we multiply with a pure fifth once again. And from the sixth to the third step, we go up one fifth and down one octave one more time. We go up one fifth from the third step, and then we use the octave to go down one pure fifth to the fourth step. Now we have a diatonic Pythagorean scale. According to common practice, we give the same subscript to notes that are related to each other through pure fifths. Therefore, all notes in a Pythagorean scale have the same subscript. Now we add some infrastructure for a musical sample. This is shown in detail in another Tones in Tune video. Here we want all notes to have the same duration, so we define a named cell for duration that can be referred to from all notes. The value 1 refers to one beat or a quarter note. We start a vertical time axis at the time zero, meaning instantly. Now we add a Tones in Tune note event so that this cell becomes an anchor point for a musical note. The first property of a Tones in Tune note event is the pitch. We get the pitch from the first step in the Pythagorean scale. The next property is the onset of the event. Here we refer to the first step in the time axis. Finally, we add a duration to the event. Now we can listen to the note. I selected a piano sound for reference, but it could have been any MIDI instrument. Now we expand the vertical time axis. We copy the note event together with pitch and time references. The pitch of the new note event refers to the second step in the scale. The onset refers to the second step in the time axis. And the duration refers to the named duration cell. Let's improve the layout a little. Even if we hide some of the rows, 
the properties of the note event will still be taken from the hidden cells. Let's copy more notes into the time and pitch matrix. We expand the scale with one more octave. Then we create triads by copying thirds and fifths into the matrix. Let's increase the duration. And listen to the first major triad. Some people will find it a little out of tune due to the sharp Pythagorean major third. It is calculated from four ascending pure fifths. And two descending octaves. We can calculate the sizes of the intervals in cents using tones in tunes two cent function. The Pythagorean third is almost 408 cents, so it's larger than the equal tempered third at 400 cents, and much larger than the pure third which is used in just tuning. In the next video we will make a just tuning and compare it to the Pythagorean tuning. The spreadsheet for the video can be downloaded from tonesintune.com. Thank you for watching this video.